Hey YouTubers, I'm going to show you how to install Google Play Store on the LE TV phone. This will work for all LE TV phones and I'm going to show you with the LE TV X600, the LE TV One. I've also tried this method on the LE TV One S and this will work on the Pro and the Max. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Google Play Store and this will include the Google Play services and once you get Google Play Store you can install Google Contacts, Gmail, Google Now, Google Maps and other Google Apps via Google Play Store. The installation for Google Play Store involves two steps. The first step you're going to install root and the root process will automatically install something called TWRP. Once you install TWRP, you're going to have to download a file and then you're going to install it. This one click method, what you want to do is you want to connect your phone up to your computer. For here, I'm using a Windows based computer. And when you connect it up, you're going to pull this down. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually enable USB debugging. So this is this control here. And it says it's for deep, you know, development purposes only, but you're going to accept that. And that's how you're going to set up this. Next thing up, you're going to go on your computer and you're going to download something called iRoot. So with iRoot, I'm going to put a link down below and you can download that directly and start running that. You're going to double click this. And I'm going to install my, on my computer. Basically, you're going to let iRoot do all the hard work for you. And as you can see here, iRoot supports LETV X500, X600, and so on. All right, so let's click the uh, launch button. So iRoot is going to automatically detect your phone. And what it's going to ask you to do is you're going to add, you allow USB debugging once it pops up. So there's, you see this little menu on your phone that says USB debugging. Click OK and allow this permission. On your computer, you're going to click reconnect and it's going to try to establish the connection. All right, now we're going to wait a bit while this install works. Once this iRoot detects your phone, you can actually directly click the root button. All right. Now this, this is going to do all the hard work for you. You can just ignore every other prompt that's going to come on your phone. It's going to download the recovery on your computer. The recovery, what it's going to do is it's going to download TWRP, the Team Win Recovery Project, and it's going to automatically install everything for you. So as you can see right now, I'm not touching anything. It's just going to go through the automated process. The, the phone's going to shut off and it's going to enter fastboot and it's going to automatically install everything. I like to say that even after booting into TWRP, you don't have to do anything, just wait for it. After the root process, what you want to do is you want to copy and paste the letv google new.zip file onto your phone. To do this, you simply connect your phone onto your computer locate the file and copy paste it over. After this, what you want to do now is you're going to restart your phone using reboot and hold the up button. This will work with any sort of reboot even if you do a hard reset. So when it's booting up Pressing, holding the up volume up button will cause the machine to go into recovery mode. Here it's going to dis display the Team Win logo and you're going to be greeted with the TWRP interface. I know this is interface is in Chinese, but the menu layout is exactly the same as the English version. Here, what we're going to do is going to click the first button here 
and we're gonna locate on the SD card LETV Google News zip. Once you selected the zip file, all you have to do is slide, wait, and you're done. Here, all you have to do is you click reboot, and you're good to go. So once the phone's rebooted, you're good to go. You can open a Google Play Store and install any of the apps that you wanted, like Google Maps or Chrome. And that's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.